Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's look at discussion for the past patients. Either the chief or the leader of the farmers dash to be held responsible for the revolt. Option A, we have Ure. B, we have R. C, we have is, And D, we have have. Now, this question is meant to test your knowledge on either or and neither nor how to use them in a sentence, okay? Do you understand when to use a singular verb with either or and neither nor in a sentence and when to use a plural verb? Now, in this lesson, that's where we're going to learn. When you have two nouns that are joined by either or or neither nor in a sentence, the verb has to be singular. When you have either or or neither nor joined to and nouns in the subject position of a sentence, the verb has to be singular. For example, either James or Kunle is his friend. Now I use a singular verb is. Despite having two nouns in the subject position, James and Kunle, they are two nouns, names of two different individuals, and I use um, a singular verb is. When you have neither no or either or in a sentence, use a singular verb. Now, a situation where you have two nouns in the subject position of a sentence that um, one of the nouns is plural and the other is singular. Now, the verb has to agree with the noun that is nearer to the verb, okay? The verb will agree with the noun that is closest to it. We have either or or neither nor in a sentence that contains two nouns where one noun is singular and the other is um, plural, the verb has to agree with the noun that is closest to it. Now, if the noun that is closest to the verb is singular, the verb has to be singular. And if the noun that is closest to the verb is plural, the verb has to be plural. For example, either Kunle or my classmates are going on a picnic. Either Kunle or my classmates are going on a picnic. Here we have two nouns. Kunle and classmates. And the verb is a. Uh, the verb agrees with the noun that is closest to it. Classmates is plural. So the verb has to be plural. Now let's switch the nouns in the subject position of the sentence. Either my classmates or Kunle is going on a picnic. Either my classmates or Kunle is going on a picnic. Here the noun that is closest to the verb is singular. Kunle refers to one person, it's the name of one person, one individual. So I used is in the sentence because Kunle, which is the noun closest to the verb, is singular. Okay, another example neither Kunle nor my classmates are going on a picnic. Here we have classmates being the closest to the verb, which is the reason I used a plural verb. I hope you are following. Now, something I need you to know is that a group of nouns that contains um, a plural noun can be singular when it refers to one individual. For example, the head of the clubs is my father, okay? The subject, the head of the clubs, refers to one individual. Clubs is plural. Clubs is plural, but the head of the clubs refers to one individual okay now i can say neither my father nor the head of the clubs is my relative okay in this sentence i use a singular verb is because the head of the clubs refers to one individual one person so i use a singular verb is let's take another example either my friends or the leaders either my friends or the leaders of the students are coming to town. Leaders of the students means we are talking about more than one person leaders, okay? We are talking about more than one individual. So we're going to use a plural verb, ah, okay? Leaders of the students refers to more than one person, more than one leader. So I'm going to use a plural verb, ah. Leaders of the students are coming to town. So that is it about either or and neither nor concord. Hope you understood the lesson. So the correct answer to the question is option C, is because the leader of the farmers refers to one individual. So you're going to select an option that is singular. So option C is the correct answer. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, on TikTok, or on Instagram, please make sure you follow my page. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.